If you give a moose a muffin. Okay, so look at the picture. Who is going to give the moose a muffin? See, this is a boy. Right. Okay, go ahead. When I met Dadley, he had just had surgery on his legs and uh, he was having some trouble walking afterwards, but he never once complained. He was always happy, he was always um, ready to work and ready to learn. The, the word inspiring is perfect for, for Dadley. He, uh, he, he came over from Haiti, not in the greatest situation, but he is he's doing the best with what, what he was given. And he's not thinking about it, he's not questioning, he's not saying, why me? Um, he's not shutting down and, and trying not to progress. Um, the last time I was in the classroom on Tuesdays on our reflection day, he's helping another student read in class. I mean, he is more than willing to help anyone and everyone. And he, if he could, he would give the clothes off his back to the person next to him if they needed it. Ah, oh, every day I love to come to school. Every time, no school, I, I got mad. I love to come to school. Let me tell you about, about Haiti. I used to go to school, I'm a, uh, I, I used to go to school in Haiti. You know what? When I go to, when I come here to join Washington High School, I read better than Haiti. When you think about students in school, a lot of them get excited when there's snow days. A lot of them get excited when a teacher says there's no homework. Um, a lot of them get excited when there is a holiday or day off for a particular reason. Um, that's not the case with Dadley. So Dadley gets upset when there's a snow day. He gets upset when there's no school. And he certainly gets upset if I say, no homework tonight. Um, he says, oh, come on, my friend. Please give me homework. So I would say in 21 years of teaching, he is my one that I've come across. I would like to be here every single day, every hour. He would live here if we gave him the chance, I think. <laughs> we have students here that take off because it's raining too much, or they take off because they're getting ready for prom, or they're getting ready uh, for their birthday, or what have you. <laughs> and there's, there's no way he's going to miss school. The, the number one story that comes to mind is when we uh, were getting ready to go to the national uh, Special Olympics training camp in Lycoming College with the rest of Team Pennsylvania. And we had to be here at 5.30 in the morning on a Saturday morning to catch a bus to go up to Lycoming, which is three and a half hours away. And Dally was here at 4.30 in shirt, tie, dress pants, and dress shoes. And the only thing he had that he packed up was all dress clothes because it was so important to him and he thought it was the end-all, be-all formal weekend away so he didn't have any athletic gear or anything with him so we had to scramble I, I had all my t-shirts that I extra t-shirts that I brought they're now Dadley's uh, Yvonne had to go to the school store and got him a couple pairs of sweatpants for Dadley to participate because if he was up there he wouldn't have a chance in his dress clothes because he packed it all on his own uh, to participate in there and just again the smile and the excitement for him it was hands down above everybody else. I think um, the one day just when he missed the bus because there's been problems with his bus, I think it might have been about 12, 30, 1 o'clock into the school day, almost the end of the school day, in walks Dadley. <laughs> he was determined to get here. He got here. He found a way. He got on the SEPTA bus and he traveled here. And he, you know, he made sure he got to school. My sister, my sisters, and my brother, they tell me, why you like to come to school, uh, go to school so much? I, you know, you know what I tell them? I tell them, I love to come to school because the school goes show me something I don't know. If I'm having a rough day and and I have time during my lunch or I have time during my prep and, and something's going on, I'm heading right to that classroom because then my spirits are going to come back up. I totally forget about what was bugging me or what was bringing me down because there isn't anything when I walk in that room that isn't going to make me feel better. It's just amazing to watch him play. When he plays uh, goalie on the field, he totally forgets that he has a walker. He forgets he has any physical limitations. 
Um, he forgets that at one point that prior to his surgery that his, his feet were back behind his body, that he couldn't sit normal, he couldn't walk normal. He forgets all of that. And when he goes into the, the goalie net, it just, he, he's a typical individual and, and there's nothing holding him back. He'll dive on the ball if he has to. He'll do whatever he has to. And he gets this look on his face and he forgets everyone and everything around him. And he's one mission is to try and stop the ball. Have we thought the ball get to me? I got it. And I, you, you know what I did? You know what I did? Let me tell you, I just laid down to get the ball. Got down fuck to get the ball. No matter how bad it, it, it is for him or no, or no matter what's going on in his life, you would never know. Uh, I've never seen him upset. I've seen him tired because he really, I mean, he, he is a, a ball of energy that takes himself uh, on full steam the whole time. He's in overdrive full time. Um, when we came back from training camp, the entire ride he was pretty much asleep. When you really think about uh, how great some of us have it, um, a shelter, uh, a job, uh, a family, and, and so many people get so upset over some little tiny things. I mean, this is a kid that uh, never gets upset over major things. Uh, and that's, again, that's something that allows me to uh, really reflect on my own life and know how great I do have it. He's a pleasure to teach. He's always happy. He's outgoing. He, uh, he loves school. He loves life. And he just uh, takes joy in everything that he does and everything he experiences. Um, he can put a smile on anybody's face. Dadley is, um, is just a bright light in, in a dark room. He, um, he encourages his friends, he encourages everybody he sees to do their best. So he's just a pleasure. You just can't, you can't come in here ever with a negative attitude when you walk in and you see Dadley. You know, you see Dadley and it just puts a smile on your face. You could have the worst day before you walk in here and you can forget it as soon as you see him. I just think he's got a natural spirit. I don't think it's anything specific besides that. I just think he, it, this is him, you know, it's his natural spirit. He's kind hearted and he's caring and giving and there's nothing else to really explain it. You know, that's how Dadley is.